This is a phrasal verb. Use these two together when people get together. They hang out. To hang out is to spend time with other people. These are usually friends or family. Who do you hang out with? Or to be absolutely grammatically correct, the preposition would go at the beginning of the question. With whom do you hang out? So that you don't end the question with a preposition. This sounds very formal and I would recommend the first version instead who do you hang out with? Who do you hang out with? I hang out with and then here could be the name of someone or you could just say I hang out with my friends. I hang out with my friends. Or you could say, I hang out with my friends at school. If you're thinking about a location. Or I hang out with my friends at parties. When offering an invitation to hang out, you can make this kind of question. This is in the present tense. Do you want to hang out this weekend? Or you could simply say, let's hang out. This is a suggestion. Let's hang out. Where are some good places to hang out? Places to hang out include shopping centers, clubs, public plazas, bowling alleys, coffee shops, cafes. These are usually places where young people gather, but it could also include older people who hang out. Here it's one word and it's a noun. These are popular hangouts. Places to hang out online might include chat rooms, YouTube channels, Facebook, Instagram, and gaming sites, among other places. But it's better to hang out in an actual physical location. In the simple form, use hang out. The past tense is hung out and the past participle is hung out. In the past tense, we hung out last night. Here's the past tense, hung out. In the present perfect tense, you can use have, and then this is negative, haven't hung out. We haven't hung out in a while. So this is the same as saying we haven't met together anywhere in some time. So let's hang out. In these sentences, hang out is used as a gerund. After the word enjoy, there's hanging out. We enjoy hanging out together. Remember that a gerund is an ing word and it functions as a noun. Here it is at the beginning of the sentence. Hanging out with the wrong people can lead to trouble. All of this is functioning as the subject that matches this verb can can lead using hanging out and then this prepositional phrase with the wrong people match the main verb here lead can lead 
Who do you hang out with? Where do you like to hang out? Tell me in the comments below.